let's go over the driver concept in this session so we discussed like uh, we have identified a pattern for uh, read and write in the previous uh, video so we we had added identified that pattern for write as like this so the chip select should be high and then m read write should be zero then we were passing a m adder of static seven there so we are trying to uh, pass in a like a port like a, some some kind of uh, value which we can pass so this was a pattern and then we are passing that uh, like w data here on the next cycle we we revert this particular signals to the the reset values and for read we do the similar thing we pass the chip select to one do a read the read write should be set to one and then add, and and pass in the address on the next cycle we remove uh, like we uh, uh, revert back the signals to the reset signals so this was the pattern we discussed and then we were trying to figure out some kind of like a, a utility or a driver which will drive the interface of our block we just pass in the address and data and it it, it will do all the necessary task for that okay so we have also created a init block or uh, init task so the first uh, now let's go over the task in sequence so so the first task we have is a so task mem control in it again the task is a verilog construct which is again present in system verilog because system has inherited that so task groups a bunch of uh, statements in a sequence which will be so when we invoke this task it will perform this particular statement or a group of statements in that sequence correct the task can be a task can have inputs and outputs like so 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 depending on that so in the first mem control in it we don't have any input or output so we can call the task di directly saying mem control in it parenthesis so that indicates that we are calling this task so when we invoke this task what it will do it will just initialize the all the control signals needed for this particular memory to to have a default value or a reset value which is needed so on the right hand side you you see our the test bench from before so here we were explicitly uh, set, going ahead and initializing all the uh, input control signals manually to zero correct now since we have a task for this which will drive the interface we we call this task directly and then this this will this particular things will get set now then we have a next task which is mem write it takes in two two arguments one is address and w data so in case of write we need address as well as data so these are the two arguments which would would be passed on to the interface so the task Uh, the utility which will be uh, executed in sequence is present uh, within the begin and end section so these are the three statements which will get executed in sequence so the first statement we have reviewed so this is, it will set, set the chip select to 1 read write bit to 0 and then whatever user has passed in as an address will be passed to the m address input port of the memory model and the data w data passed in by the user would be passed to the m w data of the memory model so that's the way. and we wait for a clock cycle and then change this value to zero non active values so if you see this the like this uh, so in the previous case we have seen that we were in initializing our control signals to zero and then we were waiting for five clock cycles so the first initialization is done via this control task now and then we wait for this five clock so this this uh, is similar to the previous one then instead of enumerating this sequence manually here what we do we do a mem write we we invoke this task and we pass in two values one is 7 and then a value of ab this 7 gets assigned to the first argument which is the address ab gets as assigned to the second argument which is w data and then when it passes here it executes this particular statements in sequence so it will execute it will uh, change this particular signals at the interface wait for a clock cycle again change the signals back to the default or reset value and then pass the control back here once the control is passed here we will again wait for five clock cycles 
then do a mem read mem read is again similar to mem write the only difference is uh, when we do uh, when we perform a read we don't need the write uh, like w data so in this case if you see we have only one argument called address we have not not provided any argument called data so when we call mem uh, mem read 5 tick h 07 this 7 will passed on, will be passed on to this address and then this particular line uh, three lines will be executed in a sequence like uh, it will be m chip select 1 tick b1 and then memory read write 1 indicating that it's a read uh, read request and whatever address user has passed will be passed on to the interface of the memory model m adder then we wait for a clock cycle and then uh, yeah, and then change the signals back to the reset value or a default value so now you see that after performing a read we again wait for this five clock cycles so if you see the waveform the waveform look exactly similar as the previous uh, uh, pre previous uh, example in which we had all lines listed in this initial block and we had manually enumerated all the signals and listed all the values for all the signals in each step now what we have achieved here is we have created a utilities to drive that interface the the utilities which are which are driving driving the interface of a memory model or a dot is often called a driver driver can have different view like the people can view driver as different different things but in the simplest term is like whatever uh, when you have to send a input stimulus to a dot at a memory model you provide necessary inf information and then it it will perform the responsibility of toggling the interface so that is the basic very crude definition of a driver so now since we have made this like this correct now we have like we are pretty much fe uh, flexible correct we can now like if you if i have to write to some other address i just need to invoke this mem write task and then just pass in the different address and a va uh, data value similarly for read correct this allows uh, us to structure now correct we can now uh, do a multiple reads multiple writes we can do multiple reads multiple uh, like uh, writes in a loop again we can pass in these values from a loop loop variable the data values from a random variable so we'll go step by step details for this particular uh, lab the intention was to convert our manual driving of interface to a driver utilities which will toggle the interface for a memory read and write operation.